There are many pleasures in this world that we can indulge in, right? And it's great because, you know, God gifted us with things that we can enjoy. Physical pleasures, things like video games, things like food and sports. And social pleasure, you know, hanging out with people, being accepted, right? It's great that we can enjoy these things, right? Obviously, a big one is sex, right? It's a gift for us to enjoy. And when we take part in these things, we get dopamine released into our brain and serotonin. And we feel this sense of pleasure and joy. And the thing about worldly pleasures are they are instant. Oh, another one I forgot to mention big in my life is drugs, you know, smoking weed, drinking, and so there's this instant satisfaction we feel when we take part in the pleasures of the world. We get dopamine released into our brain, and as a result, we literally feel pleasure from the chemicals in our brain that come from something that we're physically doing. And, you know, it's great that we can enjoy these things, but the pleasure that we receive is only temporary. And... The problem is, is that when we have these pleasures that we love so much, we receive temporary joy. And then as soon as we're not doing whatever was giving us pleasure, we no longer have that joy. And instead, we have a craving for more pleasure. And this is happening all over the world. And that's why certain things are more dangerous than others, right? I'm not saying there's, that playing video games is bad, but they can be very addictive. Being addicted to video games is bad. But there's things that are way more dangerous than video games, like getting high, right? There's so much temporary satisfaction that before you know it, like me, I would get smoke weed so many times a day, I would do it before I did anything else because I wanted that instant joy. I wanted the temporary to be good so i would just go get high and i would feel better right porn right sex it's such a temporary thing the moment you finish watching porn you instantly don't feel any of that pleasure that you felt it's all gone it, you have it it's physical it's in your eyes it's in your mind you feel this pleasure obviously in your body and then you're over and all the pleasure is gone and as a result you want more Right, you're building up a tol I guess tolerance for pleasure in your mind. You literally, your brain, the baseline dopamine levels get screwed with. So you build up this desire and craving for pleasure, and it leads to a hedonistic lifestyle. And so, the Bible is constantly trying to protect us from this right and and it's hard because the world is constantly pushing us in the direction towards the pursuit of pleasure and i'm just gonna read galatians 5 19 and 24 um from the nlt version when you follow the desires of your sinful nature the results are very clear sexual immorality impurity and lustful pleasures idolatry sorcery hostility quarreling which is fighting jealousy outbursts of anger selfish ambition dissension division envy drunkenness wild parties and other sins like these i could talk for 30 minutes about any of these right drunkenness people getting drunk you lose your your sense of good judgment it's fun right but then the next day you feel horrible right right um a jealousy right we we see somebody else with a pleasure that we want and, and it makes us in our hearts angry towards them because they have what we want right and i'm gonna keep reading uh let me tell you again as i have before that anyone living that sort of life will not inherit the kingdom of god that's the scary part is these pleasures are dangerous for us we get caught in this trap of temporary that we lose sight of eternity and see the problem is when we have these temporary things 
we like them so much that we we try to find permanent satisfaction and permanent pleasure and only temporary things so it's literally impossible to be satisfied with the physical things of this world because one day we're not going to be doing we can't just be high your whole life you can't just sit there and watch porn forever right and um so the temporary pleasures that we can take part in are a distraction from the eternal kingdom of god i'm gonna keep reading this is galatians 5 22 but the holy spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control it says there is no law against these things right those who belong to christ jesus have nailed the passions and desires of their sinful nature to the cross and crucified them there since we are living by the spirit let us follow the spirit leading in every part of our lives let us not become conceited or provoke one another or be jealous of one another right i want to talk about the fruit of the spirit now because we're talking about drunkenness you know everyone getting screwed up at parties people treating each other like garbage just trying to have sex with each other no one really cares about what's going on they just want more and more pleasure and then what this is talking about what god gives us is love love for one another love for god love for life love for our testimony joy right unspeakable joy that comes from true satisfaction knowing where you're going right you're not going to be always in pleasure when you follow god there's gonna be times where you're upset but you're gonna have this deep deep joy where you know where you're gonna spend eternity and this freedom of sin that allows you to be so at peace the next one is peace right the peace of not chasing after pleasure not chasing after social acceptance right chasing after god knowing that he has you and it's not about what you do it's about what jesus did patience kindness goodness and faithfulness these things are so good patience you, you know how much harder it is to be patient when you're constantly chasing after pleasure my mom's on the phone over there um I'm fine. I just don't want her to come this way. That would be awkward. Um, yeah, it, it, these things are so great, right? Patience is huge. It's something I struggle with a lot. And, you know, it, it, now that, you know, get, breaking free from sin makes us more patient because our, our craving for pleasure isn't as, isn't as, you know, powerful. And so I'm just going to read more about this. There's, this, there's really good stuff about this in the Bible itself. Titus chapter 2, verse 12 to 14. And all three, all these verses are, the. this is a New Living Translation. And we are instructed to turn from godless living and sinful pleasures. We should live in this evil world with wisdom, righteousness, and devotion to God. While we look forward with hope, to that wonderful day when the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, will be revealed. He gave his life to free us from every kind of sin, to cleanse us, and to make us his very own people, totally committed to doing good deeds. Amen. Right? We're getting transformed. We're going from this person who is obsessed with pleasure obsessed with social acceptance obsessed with the temporary things of the world that are disappearing from my my um because uh what's the word i can't even think that i can't have forever they're disappearing from my life you know i'm only gonna have them for a short while and then they're gone and i'm chasing permanent joy in them and i'll never find it right and we're transformed to this person satisfied in the permanent pleasures of being with Christ, you know, the afterlife of knowing that you're in good hands because you're trusting in God. Um, and I love how it says totally committed to doing good deeds, right? We're in more without Christ, we're slaves to our sin. That means our life revolves around getting pleasure. Like, why wouldn't it? 
you want dopamine dopamine literally happiness and pleasure literally translates to a physical to neurochemistry right or yeah neurochemistry and in our brains we have chemicals that literally tell us we are having a good time and we chase after things that cause us like porn and drugs and all sorts of things that give us pleasure right and it's temporary though the more dopamine access the more we we experience high spikes of dopamine the more we want and the harder it is to stay focused in life because we're constantly tr craving more and more dopamine um and the last thing i'm going to read is first timothy chapter six teach those who are rich in this world not to be proud and not to trust in their money and some i didn't talk about all oh, is the pleasure of money which is so unreliable their trust should be in god who richly gives us all we need for our enjoyment tell them to use their money to do good they should be rich in good works and be generous to those in need always being ready to share with others by doing this they will be storing up their treasures as a good foundation for the future so that they may experience true life right it's saying i read another translation that says by doing this, they, they will store up their treasures in heaven right and so what we need to do is not lose sight of eternity there's a big picture going on around the universe that none of us truly fully understand or even close to fully understand all of us barely have a grasp of the big picture of the universe right and the thing is we are getting tested in our love for temporary pleasure it corrupts our minds it corrupts our soul and it corrupts our 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 life right our testimony it gets us away from the narrow path to following god because these temporary pleasures are temporary they're futile they they're here and then they're not but god and love lasts forever and we must not lose sight of eternity and i thank god for youtube and i i really hope this uh helps someone out and definitely stuff that i personally struggle with a lot and i appreciate you for watching